Hi, my name is Julie Morgan Taylor, and I'm a professor of surgery at Washington University in St. Louis and Seidman Cancer Center. And today I'll tell you a little bit about the new guidelines that were issued regarding screening mammography from the American Society of Breast Surgeons. I've been very lucky to be involved nationally in that organization, recently as their secretary treasurer and more recently as the president-elect. And I was appointed to a, a consensus panel that was really aimed at providing a more clear picture of what women should do and how physicians should approach screening mammography, not only for the average risk person, but more importantly for the higher than average risk person. So to put this in perspective, there have been several guidelines that have been issued in the past decade and some of them have recommended later ages of onset or alternating years of mammography. And that becomes very confusing to both the patient and the physician when trying to understand what the best goal is to provide the best life years saved when it comes for breast cancer prevention. So what we sought to do was to create one guideline that was clear and concise and we think very simple that will help guide our physicians and patients. For the average risk woman who does not have an elevated risk for breast cancer, our recommendation is to begin screening mammography at the age of 40. However, what's really unique about our guidelines is that we incorporated risk assessment. So what that means is that every woman by the age of 25 should have a risk assessment performed by their physician, someone qualified who feels comfortable doing that, and that will help guide them as to whether or not they can begin those mammograms at age 40, or if they're in one of those high risk groups, we have very specific criteria about what age you should start mammograms and also whether you should incorporate other imaging modalities such as MRI. That's a really unique part of these guidelines and why we're very excited about them. We think that it's going to give a better personalized approach to screening mammography. We also think that it might help overcome some of the disparities when you look at certain races and ethnicities. So we're excited, we'll hope you'll check out our website where you can find all the guidelines published and please ask your physician if you have any further questions.